Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the align perpendicular tool within the key point curve of toolbox. So the tool can be accessed over here under curves, key point curve toolbox, and under line tangent to curve tool, click and hold, and you'll be, be able to access the tool right here. So what this tool does, it creates a curve that is instead of tangent it creates a line that is perpendicular to a any given curve so let me show you guys an example so let's say i have a circle right here like this and a line perpendicular tool what's it, what it's going to do in its default setting is if you just control alt to cur um, curve snap and just drag it along and it'll create a curve that is 90 degrees from this point uh, there are various uses for uh, for this, so let me just go over some of the options uh, that is available within this tool. So if you double click, you'll be able to see well the degree. It's pl uh, pretty much a self-explanatory. I don't think it's going to do much in changing degree from one to seven. Uh, however, you can use um, change. Uh, you can use and change between true and projected. Although I do also think that uh, the limit uh, it's a little bit limited. So let me show you guys the options for this. So let's say I go into a perspective view like this. I drew the circle in the, from the top view. And if I were to just uh, do true, and I just snap a curve right here, even if I change to different views, it's always going to create a curve that is 90 degrees from this view. Now, if I were to change it to uh, change this to projected, it's going to depend on the view. So let's say I drag it like this, you will see that it's um, it's creating a perpendicular curve from uh, based on camera angle. So let's say I change this view like this, you'll see the line is projected a little bit differently. Now, to be honest, I don't particularly see the usefulness for this, but that's what the option does. So there it is. Okay, so let me just delete these. And another, so I'm just going to just revert it back to true. And another thing that you can adjust is to select from either from curve or to curve. Now the from curve uh, option allows you to just click on a random point within the curve uh, or a circle in this case, and just drag it like this. Now, let's say if you were to have a curve like this and you wanted to uh, have a perpendicular line from this uh, uh, originating from this curve, but you wanted to snap exactly right here and you want this curve to be perpendicular to this one, this is when you change uh, from from curve to curve. So in this case, instead of dragging along this one, all you have to do is control snap like this or CV snap right here to pick the point that, that you want to snap to. And all you have to do is uh, do a curve snap from here, like this. And this curve is exactly perpendicular from this point on this curve, and it connects right to here. So I do find that this one is a little bit more useful uh, in, uh, let's say you were to do an engineering drawing or like an orthographic drawing. Um, so this does have uh, quite a lot of uses uh, for it, and I do find it very helpful because it's, you know, if you didn't have this tool, it would be quite uh, kind of difficult to have this kind of relationship where you have a specific point that you want to snap to, but you also want to make sure that it is perpendicular to this curve that you are originating it from. Okay, so uh, that's the line perpendicular tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.